are allowed at all. Yeah. This is history. History in the background. About true leadership. And that's what Taraba is lacking. You know, we have even a governor that doesn't even stay. The governor that stayed in absentia, in absent. As a diplomat, I've gone around the whole world. I've seen how it is up, things are done in other places. You cannot give what you don't have. And I feel that I have all it takes to be the governor of Taraba State. I contested in 2011, and I'm coming out now, believing and trusting that God will do it, because that state needs to be liberated from the hands of people who are not serious. They are just after what they can get out of the state, not what they can, they can they, they, what they can do for the state. And that will be with a lot of difference. Taraba, as you all know, is endowed with both human and natural resources. One of the best states ever in Nigeria. But we don't have good leaders that will harness, tap and harness all these resources that God has blessed us with. For the betterment of the people, for the betterment of the nation, and the better of the whole world. By the grace of God, if I become the governor of Taraba State, I will do such that. I will do that. Education is lacking in Taraba. Taraba is behind. With my experience, with the expertise that I have as a diplomat, I will bring it to bear in that area, particularly like in the, in the state. Taraba is one of the states that are bordering the French Francophone countries. But most of these leaders, they come, they don't even know the essence of language. French language should be taught in Taraba State. That is one of my cardinal things. I will, will have a collaboration between the Taraba State government and the Cameroonian government so that we can build a French institute so that we open the, we sort of open the door of the world for our children. We have so many young people moving the street without job after graduation, all because they don't have a second language. In my whole his life as a diplomat, I realized that the key to the world is having additional language. And French is one of such. If you have a French language and you have an English language, definitely the door of the world is open to you. And that is what I would do for my people as soon as I get that. We have so many, uh, we are surrounded by four countries, but we're not tapping into that. You find a, a, a young man from Nigeria, a graduate, you ask him, can you speak French? You tell him he doesn't know how to speak French. And yet, we have a lot of potentials that we can penetrate them and uh, get the best out of out of such uh, opportunity. But because we don't have the second language, some of us don't even, cannot even go there. You cannot communicate with anybody. So that I want to do in my state. And I want to bring e-learning to my state. At least we have three, three uh, senatorial zones. I'm going to, we're going to create internet and e-learning centers in, in all the senatorial zones where children can come. All the students during holidays, they can come and assess their colleagues in other parts of the world. This is what is done all over the world. But we are not, we are lacking behind. Taraba is still looking like a rural state. It pains me when I go to Taraba and I see the way things are done there. I feel Ezekiel Irimia Fukonyo should come with a different. Taraba is for Nigerians, it's not only for Tarabians. Everybody that wants to learn French will come to that because it's going to be a massive institute where we we'll do clinics, where they learn languages. So that by the time Nigerians begin to see the importance of languages, they will know that yes, we will. All these youths are moving the street. They will know that they can go out of this country. They can join the United Nations. These are vacancies. They will ask you to speak another additional language. If you don't have it, no way. They won't give you a chance. All these international institutions, international organizations, they are looking for people who will speak French, but we don't have. They will ask you to speak French, you speak English, but if you don't have, you have. I say you tell them you speak only English. Something will be lacking. So I know that it's a system that by the time we open that institute, is going to be for the whole country. And Nigerians will willingly and will be willing to go there to study. That's affiliated to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Security is an area that baffles me, particularly in the state. Some of these killings, some of these things that are happening, they are all political sponsored killings. And I can assure you, we know the techniques. We know what we will use to cope such menace. Wanton killings, population dispersal, and killings of innocent souls. God will give us the blueprint. 
and we're going to adapt it. Taraba will be one of the best places to stay by the grace of God. 